What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dory Warmy. Uh, so we have a new Asmin Gold video that just was posted the other day called Everything is Woke, but Woke is in quotation marks, okay? I was alerted to this video. I heard Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers did a reaction to this video. I don't know much about this video. All I know it's a take about from Asmin Gold about woke gaming. I know nothing else besides that fact. I'm willing to bet that I'm going to partially agree with aspects of this video. I'm probably going to partially disagree with aspects of this video. But I'm going to take this video head on. I'm going to see what I think about this video. And I'm going to give you my honest thoughts and opinions on what Asmongold's saying here. So let's go! Uh, watch the whole Act Man Andy pants. Most is inconsequential. But this part is very relevant. I never, I never have watched this. I have no idea what even happened here. Told you, I think it's incredibly strange to talk about Concord and not... Told you, I think it's incredibly strange to talk about Concord and not mention the clear woke slop. And... You make the, fun of people who use the word woke and you never use the word, even though it completely describes what's going on right now in gay games. I will say it is you can't really discuss Concord without talking about the character designs and how they were based off of diversity, equity and inclusion, woke uh, basis, uh, intersectional feminism. You, you can't not focus in on that ugly characters. And why were they ugly? Because of this particular ideology. You can't not mention that. Not mentioning it is a problem, but I will say, uh, Act Band destroys Andy Pants. Um, so the thing about the word woke is it, it harkens back to that old story we all read and were taught when we were growing up the boy who cried wolf. These days, it's the boy who cried woke. There is so much disingenuous criticism using the word woke, the word is so liberally applied to this every. This is why we banned it on the subreddit, by the way, for a while is because people use the word woke the same as they use the word like racist or like a few other things where it's like this is like basically a it's like a filler word because i don't know how to actually define what the problem is so i'm just going to use like this bucket word that somehow is going to apply dei is the new work woke yeah dei is yeah exactly so okay Okay, I'm starting to see kind of where this is going. Um, and I'll finish it. I don't disagree with anything he just said there, but at the same time, I disagree with a lot of what he just said there. Uh, and uh, it's weird for me to say that. I more agree with Ackman that there is a lot of people that will come out here and say something is woke because they can't actually vocalize or figure out what they mean by insert thing is woke what, what's woke about it can you actually explain why is this woke when it comes to concord i could say concord has woke character designs why is that well there's maybe it is questionable one white guy in that whole roster of characters the rest of the characters were they thems non-binaries uh had all sorts of different representation monikers bunch of black uh, females that were very strong looking and strong women's and then a character that was specifically marketed as the first black trans woman who was also voiced by the first black trans woman in gaming like i can explain that but there is a lot of people that will come out here and say blank is woke blank is woke what do you mean by blank is woke what, what is your, what are you saying? What are you telling me? So yes, they will do it as like a filler word without realizing what they're actually saying. So you do have to say, hey, if, if you're going to say something is woke, you need to give a little bit more detailed information on why thing is woke. And I, I would take this also to like uh, Ghost of Yote right now. Ghost of Yote, is, there's people saying that it's woke. It's woke. It's woke. Why are they saying it's woke? Female main character. There's a lot of female main characters in gaming. Well, it's a female supplanting a male character. No, it's a spinoff set 300 years in the future, so the male character is already long dead, and he's had a story set. Is that woke? More than likely not. We need more information to say if it's woke or not. So I'm not going around saying that's woke, but I do know some people are saying it's woke. So woke is a filler term, and more people need to be able to vocalize what do they mean when they say something is woke. What is your going through? Because it is a catch-all. It is kind of becoming more and more of a slur. You need to be able to vocalize what you're saying there, and too many people don't have that ability to vocalize. That's why they'll grab something woke, DEI, intersectionalism, stuff like that, without actually further delving into why something is like that.
thing because there are so there's many two on... races in video games there's white and woke online grifters who produce nah. daily outrage content that are saying this thing is woke this thing is woke you should be angry you should be upset <laughs> tune in tomorrow for episode 4169 on why star mm -hmm. wars is woke now and why you should hate it and be mad and angry and upset yeah. Actman was a bit disingenuous there because star modern day star wars is woke is intersectional has a bunch of ideology shoved in it and it is blatant to see, but Actman's not a culture warrior guy, so I'm not really freaking out about that. But he has a point. There's a, so much of that going on that the, the ending of the story of the boy who cried wolf is that at the end there was a wolf out there, but because there were so many false claims of there being a wolf, the people didn't help him. Mm -hmm. So that's what's happened with the word woke when i hear somebody so i think that act man's bringing up a really good point here and i think the best example of that point is that a lot of people have labeled games like um uh, space marine 2 as woke because it has uh like uh, i guess like a female commander in it and and i feel like that's not really what's happening uh, and, and a lot of people, well, sorry, that's actually not true. A lot of people is inaccurate. You're correct in correcting me on that. Uh, there is like a list of like what games are woke and what games are not woke. And I think Elden Ring and Space Marine 2 were put on that list. So when you paint with such a broad brush that almost anything could be, if you interpret it in this way, could be perceived as woke you end up devaluing the word. I agree with him. I want to know what this list is because if anybody's saying Elden Ring is woke, anybody's saying Space Marine 2 is woke, give me your reasoning because more than likely you're tarted. Okay? Those aren't woke games. Those are just games. They're escapism. Elden Ring is the furthest thing from being woke. If anybody ever calls it woke, yeah, that's an example of you diminishing what the meaning of woke is. And take it to another position. I was seeing people say that Reacher, for example, is woke. Why? Because there's a strong female character. Is that woke? No. It's just an actual strong female character, and they give you justification. People will come out here and say, Arcane. Again, I use Arcane as a perfect example of all this. They'll say Arcane is woke. Why? Lesbian main character, shy, shaved head, dyed hair, all the stuff, strong whammons looking body. But the story justifies why she is the way she is. This justifies why she is actually capable of boxing and handling herself. And also she gets her shit kicked in a whole lot. So she has her actual trials and tribulations, but people take a look at Arcane and go like, that woke, but they don't actually know what it is and they don't care to know what it is. They just have woke buzzers going off and that, that does diminish everything because when you start saying that something's woke when it's blatantly not woke, yes, you are diminishing what it means to be woke. No, I'm, I'm being serious, right? Baldur's Gate 3 too? Well, I could see Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 makes a lot more sense that it's woke because you can engage in homosexual relationships. You can, uh, you know, I think they have pronouns in the game. You can change a character's genitalia with like not having them have a different body. I feel like Baldur's Gate 3, like you could make an argument that like, yeah, sure, this is a woke type thing, right? It's just that people don't care because it seems like it's an authentic product. And so... I could agree with I that. I think that what happened is that people are trying to, like, identify every instance of something being woke. But I think that if you retroactively apply this to a lot of other games, you would see other games in the past that have also had this issue as well, right? So, like, for example, with, uh, like, Space Marine 2, you could also say, like, Gears of War, right? Would also be woke because of Coltrane and uh, uh, Dom, right? I actually do do agree with him again there's other things that in the past we would probably have said is woke when it really isn't woke but people are so apprehensive nowadays to immediately jump on something being woke and i, I would say gears of war I, I never played gears of war 5 i think is what it is or is it for the, the 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 newer one where it follows the sun and the girl and people were saying it's woke I, I never played it so i can't say it but there are people that would say that that is an example of woke woke is Woke is being way too liberally used, I think, is what it boils down to right now. And I firmly agree with that. And yes, there are. I would safely say if Tomb Raider was coming out today, people would say that as woke. 
I, I do kind of fall in that camp because, and it's not because it is woke. It's because we've become so jaded and so hurt to what it mean, what these terms are and what good character development is that the average person is just going to see that and say, no, bad, woke. And it's not their fault. It's because we've been gifted so much garbage tier content over and over and over again with this ideology so front and center within it that people react that way justifiably so they're reacting because they're terrified of getting more of this stuff and they're just they're painted that way they've been trained to think that and it's not youtubers faults it's not reactionary reactionary people's faults it's the corporations of all honestly it's it's the media's fault it's companies that uh, like we're f not from soft but uh uh uh, uh t louis 2's company that you know you, you get these games dustborn you get these games constantly coming out over and over and over again and it's so blatant and in your face that when you do get say a new tomb raider that isn't filled with this stuff or like if Tomb Raider was being today actually made like it was back then, but being made today. Yeah. People would take a look at it, go like woke, walk away. And that's the tragedy of what life we live now. What the world we live in now is you could get these games that star a female main character. That's blatantly not woke, but people will take a look at it, go like, woke, 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 woke. And that's not their fault. That's the media's fault. They are sick of it. And that sucks. That that does suck. Right? So that seems like kind of a bad argument, a bad way to look at it. So the problem is that I think that people have started using the term woke for too many different things or halo, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, like, oh, wow, you know, Master Chief has a woman that knows everything that tells him what to do. And, you know, Sergeant Johnson's like this black guy and like, you know, he tells everybody else what to do. Right. If, if you want to look at everything through that lens, it's like if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And, and I, I do think Actman's bringing up a good point that if everything is woke, then nothing is. And I think that the problem is that Concord, which is like, in my opinion, definitely a woke game, like 100%, is that if you don't figure out a way to like grade this or to have any sort of like measured criticism, you can't say Concord is as woke as Space Marine 2, right? Like this is, it's, it's like... It's beyond retarded so that's a huge issue and i think it's making hard it's making it hard for people that are like against this kind of stuff to be taken seriously because they're doing things that are unserious if you accept everything you stand for nothing um well yeah but like this this is like the opposite like if you if you don't st if you don't stand for anything then all you're doing is laying down you're doing nothing so it's like you have to be measured in your criticism and your feedback it's it's what happened to the words racist and sexist a few years ago. He's right. People That's were exactly saying like said. air conditioning yeah. sexist and, yes. you know, right. all this stupid Which, by shit. the way, that was a real title. That was a legitimate thing. Women were saying that air conditioning was sexist. Wait, that was an actual thing? I, I have no way to verify that, but I thought that was a joke. I, I saw the Andy Pants thing and Act Man thing here, and I actually agree with Act Man, even though I think some of his what he was saying was a bit disingenuous, but did agree with him. I thought that was a joke. If if that was a real thing, holy hell, our world's lost. But again, I'm not disagreeing. If everything's woke, then nothing's woke. If everything's racist, nothing's racist. If everything's sexist, nothing's sexist. I do agree with that. That's why when you use these terminologies, you need to give your justification as to why something is this way is racist and sexist and it destroyed the meaning that those words are supposed to have he's right the boy who cried racist nazi the is the worst one mm -hmm. i think nazi and slavery are two of the worst ones that are used now because people use like for example i'm working at a job that doesn't treat me well as slavery and like they don't like it's just i think it downplays like we have real slavery right like now we have real slavery uh it's not in the u.s like, and by the way, if you are trying, like, if th there's, like, three smart Redditors in chat that are like, well, what about prisons? Nothing like slavery. Nothing like actual slavery. A little bit too political, but I, I 
do kind of see what he's saying there. Uh, th there's, there's, there's some prisons that may or may not have been ran by a, a, a potential presidential candidate and maybe a current vice president that might have might like to differ with you. But yeah, again, if nothing, if everything's woke, nothing is woke. You got to be able to vocalize what you mean here. That's why I try to my hardest not to say something is woke all the time. Or if I say something's woke, I give you my reasoning on why something is woke. Concord. Yes. Woke. Why? Characters. Go into the characters. That's how you do that. You have to be able to actually vocalize it and explain it. And then also you do need to have a definition for what woke is. If you think that you're a retard, read a book. Anyway, just look it up on Wikipedia. It'll take you five seconds to learn that you're stupid. So if you compare that to like what's happening in like, you know, Africa, et cetera, uh, that is actual slavery in some cases, right? It is really bad. And so people that compare those two things, I think are being like very, very disingenuous and they're like hijacking the emotional baggage of a word to make their own argument or their own feelings more important. And I think Nazi is the same thing. Like, and I, I hate to cut him off there, but I, I started thinking about this. Uh, we have football players in the NFL that will try to argue that being a part of the NFL is slavery. NFL football players will say that it's slavery for what they are doing. It, that's an actual thing that's happened a lot. They'll, they'll come out here and try to argue that. And you sit here and you, 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 you hear stuff like that and you go around and you know, you see what's happening to like we are Muslims over in China. You hear what's happening over in parts of Africa, o o over in the Middle East where slavery is still a thing. And you go like, you guys, you guys don't know what's actually going on here. Like the amount of times that I hear people being called Nazis because they don't want open borders or they're like Donald Trump fans is way too much. The boy who cried sexist, the boy who mm -hmm. cried woke. These, yeah. are, these are three books in a volume. The, okay. He, he's right. That dude, all have the so, same the same ending. Dude, so it's it's I mean, you're a video game critic and and you're you do video game analysis, so I find it shocking that you don't see the pattern in a game like Concord having three black females in it and not a single white man. Well, it did have a white guy in it, but um I think the problem is that a lot of the people that have discussions about this topic have like they've already made up their mind about it and they're looking at it from a one-dimensional perspective and i think that's what happens with people that are like super anti and super pro this type of like inclusion because they're not really looking at it both of these extremes trend to the perspective of i am basing my opinion on things off of something that is not happening basically right Exactly what happened to just make a good game. People are too emotional. Yeah, well, it's also that people are not really willing to, like, concede any ground. And I think if you're not really willing to see, like, the, like, the sense of, like, what other people are saying, then I, I think that you can't really, you can't be reasoned with, right? You can't have people understand what your perspective is. And I'll, I'll use, I'll use freaking... Oh, I just had what I was about to say. Damn. I'll use Arcane again. The people that think Arcane is woke are prolific. They will just take a stare at it. They won't actually engage in this with the product. They won't engage with the show. They won't actually watch it and see for themselves that it's not woke. They'll just say, no, thing woke. Thing woke mean bad. Mean me go other way, but not woke. And when you have that mindset, when you when you have that set that that ingrainedness to just say thing woke mean bad, when thing not woke, you diminish stuff and there's no talking to you, there's no breaking you out of it because you're not willing to actually do the work to show that maybe you're wrong because you don't want to be wrong or maybe you've been led astray, maybe you've been told something that's not true and you can't see that no. What I've been told, it must be true because I trust insert streamer here. I trust insert content creator here. They said this, so they must be right. Let, let's take Andy Pants, for example. Andy Pants, uber freaking grifter dude, just got exposed as an uber freaking grifter. And 
People believed what he said. People even believed what he said about Hackman, that Hackman was getting paid off, that Hackman's cashing all these checks. And it's like, you're just saying this, but people aren't believing it. People aren't believing what's saying what's being said here. Even Andy Pants, for example, he read one blog spot on one website and said that Bellular was being paid off by all these people and that's why he's promoting all their content. When it's like, I don't know who half these people are, but all you have is one blog spot to help support your opinion. You need better receipts. You need actual proof of this happening or else people are just going to run with it. People are just going to say it's true when it's factually incorrect. You can't just believe that, but people will believe that. People will say that. People will believe that Bellular Act Man and whatever the other guy is is just they're just getting paid to say what they're being said, what they're saying. They're just in it for the money. They don't believe it. Then you get freaking freaking uh, uh get Andy Pants gets freaking exposed as. Going from one year saying diversity in the gaming industry is super pro and super good and we need more of it to like just a few months later saying all the opposite stuff and also being very, very anti-LGBT, that change does not happen in a year. That that, that math don't work. But let, let's see what Asman has to say because I'm not actually disagreeing with most of what he says here. So, yeah, what if everything really is woke? Um, I, I feel like then at that point, then the term doesn't mean anything. Because, like, it's kind of like, remember what I was saying mm -hmm. before about how I don't like how people call things scams? Like, like for example, like Lunchly or, um, like, the Pokemon cookies. They're not really a scam. They're just overpriced. And I think that if you use the word scam, a scam is when you buy something and you don't get what you paid for fundamentally right so like you buy something they don't give the thing to you or you buy something and you get something else or you buy something under the pretense of one thing and then what what's advertised and what's given are two separate things right so that's what an actual scam is and so having overpriced products or having products that are stupid are not scams they're just overpriced garbage and so if you take the word, and again, I think that's what happens. People like to take the word and then expand it so they can have that emotional control over the conversation, you know? And I think we've been saying this multiple times. Yeah. I, I think his example of scams and Pokemane's cookies as being a scam is a little a little off because i do believe pokemane's cookies are a scam she came out and said like this is an original recipe and it's like no these aren't original recipes these the, this is a white label product you just they print out a bunch of them and you're selling a white label product under your name so it, it's not an original thing it, it, it's it's not so that is a scam but overpriced scam yeah uh i see what he's saying though i think he is right where people just overuse words racist sexist woke uh, that's why you need to make sure that people don't do that. And if people are doing that, you got to police your own. You got to be able to say no, that that's not it. That's not woke. You got to be able to stand behind that. And you got to be able to call them out when it is that way. There's people that think Final Fantasy six, not 16, but uh, Final Fantasy seven and seven rebirth are woke. I can say maybe a decision in the game was based off of particular ideology. Let's say the censorship, for example, of Tifa. That was based, they did that because of woke ideology, but that's not woke. They just did it because of an ideology. The completely different things. So the games aren't woke, but they have decisions placed in the game because of the ideology that is centered around being woke. But that th those are two different situations. Final Fantasy isn't woke. Final Fantasy is still very much a non-woke game. That that's fine. There's other examples of this. Uh, I'm trying to think of another good one where people will say something's woke when it's not and so on and so forth. But again, you do this with racism. You, you point stuff out, you're racist. You hold open a door for a woman just being kind, you're sexist. It, there's all this examples to the point that it, nothing means anything. Oh, Pokemon cookies were a scam because they weren't want to claim to be. If you want to make the health argument, ben the health benefit argument, I think that's a fair argument to make, and I think that's totally fine. But that's not the argument that most people were making, and so I'm really talking about the price of the cookies being a scam. 
I don't think something being overpriced makes it a scam. That's not how things work. So yeah, it's turning it into a buzzword. Exactly. Speaking of scams, the day before offers are offering uh, dinners uh, for them for 12K. I'm sure they are. I now. mean, those guys are trying whatever they can to make money. I think he's mainly just talking about scams now, but that buzzword thing, yeah. All woke is is a buzzword now. And that's why you see a lot of people decide to throw it up in, like, in the title, because it's a buzzword. You got to be able to explain what woke is. You got to be able to explain what is it that makes it woke. And you have to have a de definition for this. Woke has a varying definition between person to person to person. And that, that is an issue. That, that is something. There is no universal definition for what is woke. So when you go into these discussions, you should probably look at somebody and say, okay, for you, what does it mean for something to be woke? For me, for something that's woke, it is the per... Uh, the prevalence of a uh, ideology based on intersectionalism, uh, primarily progressive politics, and the overabundance of it within a product where it is front and center over actual storytelling. That is what it means to be woke. Like there's more to it than just the word, but everybody has a different definition for what it is to be woke, that it does make woke just this buzzword that you can throw it into a thumbnail or a title and you'll succeed you'll you'll go far you'll you'll be able to make a lot of money off of that thing but nobody actually knows what woke is just like nobody knows what racism is anymore nobody knows what sexism is anymore nobody knows what it means to be a yahtzee or slavery or any of this stuff anymore nobody knows any of this and that is a problem too many people use it so liberally to the point that it, it it's just nothing burger. Well, what do you mean is woke? I can sit here and I can tell you uh, Gundam Witch of Mercury is woke. And I can give you my exact reason on why it is woke. They focused more on the idea of uh, the main characters being lesbians, being of a particular style and they ne a particular sexual position. And they never actually went so far in the story as actually offering why they're now going to be lesbians, why they're actually going to be this way when it was being very laid out very strongly in the exact opposite direction during season one, that the main character was actually straight was into a bunch of guys and had a bunch of guys chasing after her, that she was actually kind of becoming more interested in the guys. She the lesbian, this, the, the lesbian, the gay came out of nowhere, but by the end of it, everything was gay. They focused more on that than actually telling a good story to the point that when it actually came to the end of the actual show itself, you didn't know what the heck was going on and it was all chaotic and awful and the, the, the show suffered for it. It's not a good show. I can lay that out for you on why I think that is woke and I can do that all for you. But too many people just say thing woke, but they don't tell you why they think thing is woke. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it to friends, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.